What's up everyone, it's Iceman Oz, aka Jay, straight from the places of kangaroos and into your living room, back again with another video for you guys. Today, we are going to be talking about this game that Ubisoft have shipped over to the Iceman. Thank you to Ubisoft again for allowing me the opportunity to play the Ultimate Edition as well, which in Australia is super expensive. I think it's like $160 Australian on release. So I want to give a massive thank you first of all to Ubisoft for allowing me to play it. So yes, there is a bias, but I want to give my honest opinions of this game because, you know, I enjoy a lot of aspects of it. I really do. There's a lot to like about Ghost Recon Breakpoint. It's one of those games where... It goes into a cycle of gameplay where you have co-op elements, where you're picking up loot, working together, passing missions, side missions, getting uh, weapons, unlocking and upgrading your character through time, through your skill tree, and also um, upgrading your character's gear, uh, such as the vest and helmet, etc. It definitely has RPG elements, so it's more about upgrading your character through time, which requires a lot of grinding. And there's been a lot of talk about speed boosters, where you pay extra money so you can speed up this process but I think that's a part of what's fun well what the idea was behind it being was it's a grind you're supposed to play out the game and experience each part of the map and um, they even recommend in the game that you take off map assistance so you don't know where your objectives are because they want you to explore the map uh, they want you to explore the game that's what the idea of it is and I like the idea I like an open world game I love open world games I think there's a, a decent variety of opponents to take on such as the drones and such but I would like to see more of a variety of enemies um, in the next title for sure or maybe in a future update I think they're going to add a lot of stuff in future updates. It's one of those game that, games that's going to improve over time. So what you see on release isn't exactly what it's going to be uh, a couple of years from now. So that's another thing to keep in mind. I constantly notice seeing myself playing in shorter bursts. So I was playing two to three hours at a time when I first started playing. And now I've noticed I'm playing for maybe 30 to one hour at a time and I think that's because you start to play it in different ways you'll do maybe one mission which will take you you know 20 minutes or so and then you want to go collect a gun which will take you another 15 minutes and then by that point your teammates that you've recruited are normally AFK after 40 minutes 50 minutes so it's very um, that's a very normal occurrence uh, when when you're playing this game and I wanted to play this for a long time you know I've put a significant amount of time I think 30 plus hours perhaps um, so I put some real time into this that's why I think I can give a pretty good estimate of what this game is but long term they were saying before release this is a game that's going to be around for years and so that's going to be interesting to see the evolution of this game over time let me know in the comments section below what you think about Ghost Recon Breakpoint be curious to hear what you guys think and speaking of co-op that's the only way really to play this game in my opinion now uh, traditionally Ghost Recon games have been single player experiences but this game is more prioritized for a co-op experience it just is so playing with friends is just a lot more fun. If I had to give it a rating out of 10 on release, I was going to give it about a 7, but it is actually a game that is growing on me and is a game that I'm actually going back to continuously. I gotta say, the environment of this game is absolutely amazing. I feel really entrenched in the experience because of the visuals alone. It really draws you in and it feels like you're really exploring a pretty detailed map. Like it's the most advanced thing we've seen so far um, it, through the evolution of these games like Wildlands and even elements that it's taken from The Division. And so you're seeing a lot of elements coming in from other titles, you know, you're seeing a mixture of it and you're seeing the new evolution of it. Um, I've seen some negative reviews. I don't think they're entirely justified, but I can understand uh, in a way why it is like that. So mentioning that the co-op, that's what the game's really based around. That sort of applies over to multiplayer because they've put all their time into the co-op basket. Uh, multiplayer hasn't had as much love, so it's pretty basic 4v4 gameplay. But it is fun to play again in short bursts, maybe 15 to 25 minutes at a time. So my final rating is a 7 and a... 7.8 out of 10. There you go. I'll give you a couple extra. With that being said, hopefully you enjoyed this video. And if you did, please like, share, subscribe, and peace.